Accommodation for migrants should meet their essential living needs and nothing more, because we cannot risk becoming a magnet for the millions of people who are displaced and seeking better economic prospects. I have said before that we have to suffuse our entire system with deterrence, and this must include how we house illegal migrants. So today the Government is announcing the first tranche of sites we will set up to provide basic accommodation at scale. The Government will use military sites being disposed of in Essex and Lincolnshire and a separate site in East Sussex. These will be scaled up over the coming months and will collectively provide accommodation to several thousand asylum seekers through repurposed, repurposed barrack blocks and porter cabins. These sites on their own will not end the use of hotels overnight. But alongside local dispersal and other forms of accommodation, which we will bring forward in due course, they will relieve pressure on our communities and they will manage asylum seekers in a more appropriate and cost-effective way. Madam Deputy Speaker, today's statement is an admission of failure. Yeah. Maybe that's why the Home Secretary has asked the Immigration Minister to make it yeah. instead. Four years ago, the Cabinet said they would halve channel crossings. They've gone up 20-fold since then. A year ago, they said they'd end hotel use. They've opened more than ever. They keep making new announcements, but it just keeps getting worse. Yeah. Madam Speaker, we need to end costly and inappropriate hotel use, but these plans don't do that. The Minister's had to admit, contrary to all of the briefing in the papers this morning, they won't attend, uh, end hotel use. Instead, these sites are additional, and Ministers should have been finding cheaper sites and properly managing costs years ago, today's damning report from the Government's own independent watchdog, which strangely the Minister did not mention today, says there has been no cost control, that the Home Office contracts are highly inefficient, no cross-government transparency and oversight, officials did not have financial information on the contracts they were signing, did not compare costs, and most ludicrously of all, and I quote, different parts of the Home Office operating different schemes at times found themselves competing for the same hotel contracts, Samuel. driving prices Samuel. up.